We are privileged, everyone. We are absolutely privileged to have a local band in the studio, right? And uh, do you know what? I'm so impressed that we managed to get them here. Do you want to introduce everybody? We've got Isabel, who's the... Is it Isabella or Isabel? Isabel, I hi. wasn't sure the pronunciation. You do the leads, You do the leads, don't you? In the, yes. Um, do you do the bass as well? Yes, I'm the bassist and lead singer. You do the bass. You've got some bass. And just, just introduce me from... <laughs> I'm Will. I'm one of the guitarists. We're missing one tonight. <laughs> and I'm Harry. I'm the cool guy who does everything else. He's I, the play, cool, I play he's, the drums. He's the cool dude. <laughs> the guy... The the guy that plays the drums is always the cool dude, isn't he? Yeah, just look yeah. at him. That shirt, that <laughs> geeky little shirt. <laughs> He's just styling. He's, He's chilling. Like <laughs> the name, don't feed the robot. How on earth did you get that name? What's the story behind it? I don't actually know. <laughs> 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 I think what it was is it was mostly the guy who isn't here in our band who's called John who didn't fancy coming along. Um, oh, there's always <laughs> yeah, a guy called yeah, John yeah. that lets you down. What does John do? He plays guitar. Now he just came up with a name because we needed one, and um, well, no, well, we, we found out about it later. Yeah, he said there was something like "Don't Feed the Elephant," so he thinks, <laughs> like he wanted to be like a synth pop band, so he wanted to be like "Don't Feed the Robot." It, it's a catchy name because it's something that you have never heard of before. Yeah. The problem we find though is that people always say, "So what's your? Oh, you're in a band. What's your band name?" And we always say, "Don't Feed the Robot," and they'll say, "What? Don't what? Feed the Robot?" And so we have to sit there and like repeat it for about ten times before they, before they actually <laughs> get it. Do you, do you have to abbreviate so, it? Yeah, people know us as DFTR. So oh. yeah, we're thinking of renaming us ourselves as DFTR. DFTL. DFTR. <laughs> oh yeah, no, D yeah, that would work, that would work. It's a dyslexia kicking in. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> you got a little robot. If you go on our website, you can see we have these like little cartoon versions of our heads, like the robot versions of our heads to it, make us look cool. I've looked at your website, it's, it looks it looks good and all the all the artwork's really slick and everything like that. Which which kind of leads me on to the next question. How, how, long have, have, how long have you sort of been together and how, like, how did you meet? No, we got together a year and a bit ago. Basically, John randomly asked me, do you want to be in a band? You look cool and I walked in and I was like who are these guys they look so weird they've got weird hair they've got tight trousers what am I doing with my life you've got to just kind of be crazy and cool and down with the kids you know it's, that's probably where I've been going wrong all this time that's probably why they try and put me on late you see oh I think you're really nice oh, I don't know why they do that I'll write you a check later I'm so happy to be in here today I listened to you this morning and did you oh sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that I can only I can only apologise. Oh no, I made my day. Oh. Adam to save the day. You say that. Uh, do you know what? That was awesome. Uh, I've got the um, story about my uh, jingle. I play it every morning now. Oh. I feel feel privileged. Oh, I've got a great jingle. All the other presenters, they're all like, "Who did that?" That's really cool. They all want one. <laughs> Maybe we should start a business. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said, <laughs> forget the band. We'll make jingles. I said, I said, I said, contact them via the website. I said, mine costs thousands. I said. <laughs> I said they do. I said they do you a good jingle for five grand. Yeah, we work for PDD. And they kind of went quiet then. No, we're, we're easy. We'll do it for <laughs> ten grand. <laughs> so yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I was always like wondering about the name and everything like that. Well, we had five different names to start with. What we were the like, other ones? We had like Take Flight, Yoda's Hamburger, and then you had a different lineup, so you had different names as well. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, we settled on that one because we think it sounds the cool. dancing yeah. hamburger. You never thought yeah. of that one? You know, I was I was gonna call ourselves Yoda's Hamburger because oh, it's wicked. just so cool and. Yes. So, yeah, but they didn't like it. I don't know well, why. Well, maybe like you know, we got, we got a song called that instead. That, that was as far as we let it go. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you could be inspiration for other bands. You know, you could come up with ideas. You can write when you write some music. You know, I could give you some like really <laughs> silly things to put into a song. <laughs> Isabel's good at that anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Have you ever, like, here's the thing, right? Have you ever tried and get the word Mr. Whippy? You know, the, <laughs> oh, my God. I am so, I'm so doing that for the next one. Mr. Whippy. Yeah, definitely. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I've listened to the whole album a few times. It is amazing. Honestly, it is brilliant. <laughs> we went to Brittany especially to record Did it. you? Yeah. Really? Isabel's family live part-time in Brittany over in France, so we went over there. All well, those really cliched things where you go to a country house in the middle of nowhere. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah it was a good road awesome. trip, you know. Yeah. Go holiday. It's, it's, like one of them, it's like one of them films isn't it where you, you go on the road and, and then you, you something happens and then well did, did you have any event, any like crazy stories yeah, out of that there was an axe murderer who like pursued you on the like oh that's nothing <laughs> nothing major then no, no. I think the crazy story is just us like at the pedal station in France <laughs> trying, trying to pay <laughs> miserably we will say that, that's probably the, actually that it was like point. it was like a 10 hour drive all the way over there and uh, it would have been it would have been like 8 hours but John decides to take us on a 100 mile like round detour as going you do. back the way we came as that, you that do. was the most <laughs> exciting thing which happened blame it all on John huh yeah, it's John, isn't it, isn't is that, that why John's not here? Because he had to navigate to the studio. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he maybe he wasn't up to it. <laughs> <laughs> he probably got lost.
I'll probably get an angry text from him in a second. <laughs> <He's coming. laughs> you shouldn't have said that. No, he, he's, he has a, actually good at directions normally. Yeah. But, uh, oh, maybe we're giving him a hard time. Yeah, for no I reason. was I was just tired. I was driving for ten hours. So yeah. So, so no. So it sounds like you sounds like you guys have had a lot of fun. Who writes most of the songs? It's teamwork. We all come up with something different. We bring it all to the table. We talk about it. We jam a little and add stuff to it. And then it comes out, and we're like, whoa, that sounded better than it sounded in our heads. <laughs> <laughs> You can never think, just think of a song on the spot. You're always just like playing a guitar one day and something like will turn up and it'd be great. But then if you actually try to do it, you sit there for hours and you won't have anything good coming out. <laughs> so yeah, because you're just trying too hard, aren't you, to yeah, get exactly. something. So have you got another life? Because you played, um, didn't you play the Water Rats? Yeah. That was it. Yeah, King's it's our favourite menu. Woo! How many times? How, how like many times have you played there? It's like five now, maybe. Yeah. Five yeah. times. It's amazing. Off the uh, off the subject of everything else, I was just curious. So, would, if you look for your mum and dad's collection of music, like what stuff would you find in there? Backstreet Boys. No, no I'm way. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't know. Just you know, classics, the Clash, the Beatles. The yeah, Rolling Stones. good stuff. Then good stuff. Yeah, Not good stuff. No naff stuff in there. Like <laughs> my old man's a dustman. I reckon you guys could re- redo it. Should oh do my gosh, like yeah, a, we should do a cover Like then. a remix of it. That so would... That's our new, new direction that we're going in with our new album. There you go, that's, that's your <laughs> new... Second album. That's your new PR strategy, is just do, do a, My Old Man's a Dustman, put it on YouTube, it'll hit, it'll go mad. News at 10. Yeah, you could just do some crazy stuff. Yeah, we should do a flash mob, like... See, I'll do your PR, don't worry about oh, it. Yeah. I'll, 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 take, I'll take care <laughs> of it, it's fine. Yeah, we have a show reality That'd TV show. Story. I'll strip naked, run down Merstham <laughs> High Street with a Don't Feed the Robot t-shirt. <laughs> uh, that, that'll get us on the news. <laughs> Butt naked presenter from Susie Radio runs down the street, starkers, don't feed the robot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not such a so great where, idea. No, where I like are we it. I like this? <laughs> What's like been the weirdest, kind of craziest? I've always wanted to ask that question to a band, you know, like the strangest thing you've had or all your fans really cool. No, items cool. of clothing thrown at you boys over there. Oh, like, yeah. No, girls' knickers. and <laughs> I get underwear chucked at me all the time. Yeah? It's what? quite <laughs> distracting. Guys underwear, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't normally get that. You normally get girls' thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's always yeah. nice, you know, when there's people at the front, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> they get into it. I mean, uh, yeah. we've, got, we've got a couple of super fans. Um, <laughs> they don't, don't, <laughs> don't often turn up to our gigs, but they do. <laughs> I guarantee they're listening tonight. And we've got Andy, the photographer, who's come to. Uh, uh, yeah, he's an unsung hero. Andy, do you want to say hello? on the microphone do you want to say hi Andy it's your, it's your <laughs> moment it's your moment to shine here hi there guys you alright hello yeah <laughs> woo woo <laughs> He's doing a great job on the old camera there. He's, he's been he's been snapping away. He's, do you have to go back and edit them all as well? Oh, he gets a hard job. You have to pay him well in beer, yeah. What's um what, what what's the next song we we're gonna have? Is this from your current album as well? Uh, no, it's actually from our debut EP. Okay. Um, today it's called Nothing But the Rain. It's quite an old one. This this song's called Nothing But the Rain.
that was a brilliant song. So which, which album was that? That That's was our debut. PPC's the day. Ah. You can actually find that on our website. So. Okay. So yeah, the, the website is don'tfeedtherobot.com. Also on Facebook as well. Like, yeah. give them a like. Well, like them. It. Like show, us. Come on, guys. Show your appreciation. Get on Facebook and like them. Don't feed the robot. Get They've on got Twitter lo- and like us. Get on YouTube and like us. They've got loads of stuff. Get on everything and like us. <laughs> how many how many videos have you got on YouTube? We've got, <laughs> got quite a load. Yeah, yeah we got, got. I mean, we've got like lo- official videos for our singles, and then we've got loads of covers that we've done. Brilliant. Well, I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, who would be the person you'd love to work with? If, if you could pick anyone. I'd work with Coldplay. Coldplay, yeah. yeah. Oh, I wish they'd be there. They quite have us yet. <laughs> yeah, I reckon we could try and convince them. Oh, yeah. Le- I think you should leave call Leave it to me. Let me call Chris. I've got Chris's number. I'll give, oh, I'll give Chris. Cool. Oh, really? I'll oh. give... No, not really, no. Are you best friends with so, so we'll expect a call back from you tomorrow. And him. Yeah, I'll go, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go, Chris, mate. Yeah, it's me. Listen, listen. <laughs> go for a pint later. I've got a great band. Maybe you could do Maybe you could do a project with the guy. I can't remember who the chap was that does it. Maybe he's not here anymore. Which one? The guy that sung I'm My Old Man's Dustman. Who was that? I don't know. I don't know either, actually. I thought you guys... Go through the record collection. Oh, yeah, that guy, yeah. It sounds like Chaz and Dave's song to me, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't find it. It doesn't matter. It's fine. I'll, uh, I'm sure you really want to know. So I'll, uh, later. I'll send it to you yeah. later, yeah. It's been brilliant to have you guys in the studio. It's been an absolute honour and a privilege. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Honestly, it's been brilliant. I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've enjoyed Thank it too. Thanks for having us on. No, no, it's been great. So, yeah, definitely go go online and check them out. Don'tfeedtherobot.com on Facebook as well, on Twitter, on YouTube, yeah. everywhere. Everywhere. They Worldwide. are there. Worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, it's, been, it's been brilliant. Oh, one last thing. Have you ever had like, a cr- any crazy fans or anything like asking for autographs and then you've had to sort of said that you don't want to sign it for them because they're too crazy? Um, <laughs> Has that ever happened? We don't want to name any names. Okay. Yeah, we can't, we can't say. We've got people from Australia and like... And America. In America are asking for like autographs and stuff. Yeah. We sent brilliant. We've got Coldplay as well. That's yeah. awesome. It's been an absolute <laughs> honour and a privilege. Thank you so much.